Hello, my name is Mackenzie Bailey, and I will be discussing why is litter an issue in Albuquerque and how solutions for my city can be applied to any city with a trash issue. What will be covered in this video is why do people litter, different mentalities towards litter, interviews on opinions of trash and litter in Albuquerque, possible solutions to this litter, taking the topic of litter globally. So why do people litter in the first place? Well, people who feel a lack of ownership of the public places in whatever city they live in are more likely to litter due to thinking it's not their responsibility to keep that public area clean. And if there's not a trash bin system set up or there aren't enough trash bins out in a public area, people aren't going to go out of their way to look for a trash can to throw things away. It's just going to end up on the ground. A person is also much more likely to litter in a littered environment. So combining a littered environment with no trash bins just equals more trash everywhere. It's also inconvenient to put trash in the correct place when trash bin location is unknown or it's too far away. The culture doesn't comment on literally on littering being destructive or bad. Here is a list of what Albuquerque's mentality towards trash is. Life becoming easier and faster leads to the thinking of if it's not convenient to throw it away in a proper place, it just won't be thrown away at all. An increase of single-use paper and plastic products leads to businesses inherently encouraging more consumption for people not being able to reuse things. An increase in transient traffic means that people passing through see trash on the side of the road and think it's okay to leave their trash with it because our city looks trashy anyway. Just because it looks trashy doesn't mean that you need to add to it. The must dispose of right away mentality of just, for example, if you have a straw with a wrapper on it, you take the wrapper off, you automatically want to throw it out somewhere you don't have a trash can nearby, so it just goes out the window because you were taught to not hold on to trash. And the last thing being constantly seeing trash in public makes a person litter blind. Constantly seeing trash on the sidewalk, on the roads, in parking lots, in bushes. You become used to it and it doesn't bother any, bother you anymore. You don't think about it, so you don't see it. Where did Albuquerque's mentality towards trash start? Where did it begin? Well, as city businesses grew, more single-use items were put into use. People from different parts of the country brought their perspectives on litter. For example, people from other states may find nothing wrong with littering. There may be nothing bad to it for them and technological advances, meaning creating and using cheaper materials makes it harder for things to be reused, forcing them to be thrown away. For example, if you buy a fruit cup from a store, it comes in plastic already, you eat the fruit, you throw the plastic out. It used to be that you had to buy the fruit and have your own container, and you wouldn't throw your own container away because you wanted to reuse it. So, how did this mentality progress in the culture alone, in Albuquerque's culture? Seeing how trash is dealt with becomes the norm for future generations. If you see your parents automatically just throw trash out the window of their car or throw trash on the ground, you see nothing wrong with it, so you do it too. And it just continues as your children see it as well. The trash has gotten out of control and that's when the city decided to take control of it. They had to wait for the trash to become an issue 
and now it's too late and they're trying to take control of it. This leads to the question, do all people litter the same? Yes, although some people don't consider what they are doing as littering. They have justification for different types of littering, such as throwing food-related items on the ground for wildlife is fine, or throwing biodegradable things on the ground saying it'll become part of the earth in a couple years. No matter what it is, it's all littering and it needs to be put in a specific area to keep the rest of the environment clean. So what do the people in Albuquerque think? Some interviews were conducted on the west side and the east side, which is the Sunport area of Albuquerque. These two, two areas were chosen because they are on opposite sides of the city and both show an even trash dispersal across the entire city of Albuquerque. During the West Side interview, I asked, how can Albuquerque citizens deal with widespread trash? The person said, we have so many other problems that trash is not a priority. By making it a priority through all media outlets, commercial ads, and put trash info in front of everyone, not enough exposure or emphasis on trash issues in the city. The next question I asked was, do you believe litter is better or worse on the west side and why? The person said, it is worse because canyon winds blow east to west, spreading the trash in this direction. There is more open space here than the rest of the city because sprawl is making the trash easier to be seen. The last question I asked them was, how do you think the litter problem can be solved on the west side? They answered, awareness and heavy fines in the thousands and possible prison time. The person I interviewed, and these all these quotes are from Gregory Shaw. During the Sunport interview, I asked the same questions as I did to the person who was interviewed on the west side. The first question was, how can Albuquerque citizens deal with widespread trash? They said, having the community come together as a whole to clean up the mess, more community service. The next question I asked was, do you believe litter is better or worse in the Sunport area and why? They said, it varies, but there is still an abundant amount of trash everywhere, especially on major roads. The last question I asked them, was how do you think the litter problem can be solved in your part of town? They said, by having people take responsibility and clean up their own trash and putting heavy fines into place. All of these quotes were taken from Eric Romero, who was interviewed. Here are the two interviewees' thoughts on what the city could do or implement to deal with the litter problem. Gregory Shaw stated, increase fines, post more signs of fines, more trash receptacles. Public officials focus on public outcry and not all issues facing the community. Eric Romero said, push to the city council to aggregate fines for people littering. How do we even begin to solve the trash issue in Albuquerque? According to the interviewees in KRQE, it is purpose bringing up purposeful awareness, making the trash issue more important to local legislation, and our action should be to place more trash bins more regularly in public areas. On the left is what an everyday Albuquerque citizen sees, just on their way to work, on their way home. And on the right is what Albuquerque is advertised as, and most people who visit don't get what they want to see because there's always trash everywhere. How do we fix this? Well, most people who have lived here all of their lives don't see the litter. A psychological phenomenon happens when 
you're constantly bombarded by things and you see it every day. The only time you're going to notice a change is when it's gone or when it builds up. Trash is also widely accepted because it is a difficult problem to fix and most people have given up on trying to make the city clean. Since most people who have lived here their entire lives don't see the litter, how can we begin to get people to see their surroundings? Emphasizing trash awareness, having a trash awareness week or month, and placing messaging in communal places such as billboards, restaurants, or normal places where things are advertised. Albuquerque's mentality towards trash that was mentioned earlier, how can we get it to change? One, by making litter a priority. Two, by challenging people on where they think their trash should go or where it belongs. And three, encouraging businesses to use less single-use paper and plastic products. And four, making zero-waste commercials and ads local. If this mentality shift were to happen, what would Albuquerque look like? There would be a cleaner environment. Ecological balances would naturally return, leading to more biodiversity, meaning everything that could not grow due to trash or venture into the city would slowly enter into our daily lives again and less trash would reduce the need for a landfill which provides more space for parks, public areas, farms, or more city amenities. How can all of this be applied globally? Well, trash is human related. There's trash in every city. And most people will do things to benefit themselves, which being in a cleaner environment is a benefit to oneself. Here are some thoughts from Albuquerque citizens on if they believe zero waste is possible for Albuquerque and globally. Gregory Shaw says, yes, but it will take longer than most major cities due to culture. If we get the correct people involved, change will happen quicker. Eric Romero, on the other hand, thinks zero waste is not possible when he says, unfortunately, there is always going to be trash because some people have no interest in looking out for their community. Overall, the point of this presentation was to bring awareness to trash and litter related issues in any city and trying to encourage you, the viewer, and people to do something about the trash issue wherever they're living. And if something isn't done about all the types of trash now, health and economic problems resulting from the trash will cause problems that will be extremely difficult to overcome. And I wanted to make, make it your personal mission to lessen this trash impact however you think that is possible. Thank you for your attention and for watching my presentation about trash in Albuquerque. Here are my sources in case you wanted to look further into this, seeing where I pulled my information from, minus the interviewees. Bye!